If you're a photographer who loves shooting astrophotography or even shoots this type of photography for a living, you know that having a quality lens is essential. In this video, we're going to be checking out the top 5 best lenses for astrophotography in this year. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. Okay, so let's get started with the video. Number 1. Rakinen 14mm f, 2.8 if ed UMC. The Rakinen 14mm f, 2.8 if ed UMC is a normal case of by what method should a focal point look and perform like, without soliciting from you to burn through thousands from dollars to have a choice to have awesome outcomes as far as shooting astrophotography. In any case, this unit is incredibly adaptable, it is viable with all Nikon cameras that depend on a full outline, APS-C sensor and on the off chance that you've been hoping to overhaul your shooting munitions stockpile, at that point you can begin doing as such with this focal point. Plan shrewd, this unit has a brilliant form quality, and the purpose for this is the utilization of metal. Truly, this model has an all-metal plan that doesn't just look lavish, however it is entirely dependable, and known for withstanding day-by-day -day use. Furthermore, its centering ring is deliberately situated between the following edge of the focal point hood and the opening reach, and for your information, it is 35mm wide and it is enclosed by a twofold band of furrowed elastic that will promise you a more elevated level of comfort. With regards to the components, this specific model has 18 components masterminded in 12 gatherings, of which you can locate a solitary hybrid a spherical component, three high refractive index components, one glass a spherical component, and two ed components. At the point when we join every one of them into one, this implies that you won't see mutilation or any sort of chromatic variations. Presently, we should discuss performance. What makes the 14mm f, 2.8 if ed UMC be ideal for astrophotography is its quick gap 14mm f, 2.8, which appropriates a casing fitting, super wide rectilinear view on one side, while, the presence of the UMC multi-coating will be there for you to stop the flare and apparition with the goal that you can get the best conceivable difference and transmission of light. To be considerably more exact, since this is a super wide point f, 2.8 focal point, the Rokion will offer you a 115.7 degree C on full outline cameras, and we should not forget the low unconsciousness which is more than ideal for shooting night sky symbolism. To wrap things up, I've been accounted for by those who've been shooting with this focal point that the yield is incredibly sharp, though, its self-adjust is exact, and the general nature of the shadings are similar. On the internet, you will discover a lot of tests, so you can see this without anyone else. Number 2. Sigma 18-35mm f1.8 ART DCHSM. The Sigma 18-35mm f1.8 ART DCHSM is an extremely novel focal point, actually, a few people consider it as an innovative marvet, in light of the fact that this is the principal long-range focal point that has an uncommonly quick, wide opening. Simultaneously, on the off chance that you're shooting with a Canon camera, at that point incredible news for you also. Discussing the plan, the Sigma uses a solid development that comprises of the rough metal mount, metal barrel which is made of a supposed, thermally stable composite, material which makes this focal point exceptionally able to be utilized in both, cold and hot temperatures without meddling with its performance by any means. Moreover, there are 17 components partitioned into 12 gatherings alongside 5 low scattering and 4 spherical components, so as should be obvious, the maker accepted the position genuinely. As far as the highlights, the 18-35mm f1.8 ART DCHSM comes outfitted with a ring-type, ultrasonic AF engine that has full outline manual centering and a 72mm channel size, a consistent 1.8 opening which essentially implies that its low-light capacities are for sure overpowering and we should not forget the manual supersede. Curiously, the manual supersede will assist you with centering physically rapidly in case you're working in an AF mode. Those who've been shooting with this focal point guarantee that it takes not exactly a second for this focal point to get from the nearest center to endlessness, and simultaneously, the AF engine is almost quiet. Therefore, I don't have any comments for now. What likewise stood out enough to be noticed with respect to this focal point is its sharp yield paying little heed to the gap, since even at f, 1.8 the chromatic variation, mutilation and venetting are non-existent, and in the event that you choose to shoot with this focal point, I'm certain that you will in a split second notification this. For example, at f, 1.8 and f, 1.28, the goal and the general sharpness is first rate, and chromatic distortion can't be seen when taking shots at more modest gaps at f, 1.8. 
Sounds pleasant, isn't that right? Another incredible thing about this unit is the presence of its nine-edge adjusted stomach that will assist you with accomplishing brilliant bokeh results on the off chance that you feel that you need that. Thus, besides shooting astrophotography, you will have the option to shoot picture, scene and different sorts of photography with no issues. In general, I emphatically suggest you giving the Sigma 18-35mm f1.8 art DCHSM an attempt, since it is deserving of considering and having, for the most part on account of its staggering low-light performance and its capacity to limit ghosting, flare, twisting, and chromatic distortion without spending a fortune. Number 3. Zeiss Batiste 25mm f2. The Zeiss Batiste 25mm f2 is a concentrate wide point focal point that would be a great choice in case you're a proprietor of any of Sony's A7, A6XXX models, because of the way that this unit packs various highlights and has a solid plan that makes it quite sufficient to serve you in a long haul. With regards to the plan, this model has a reduced, yet solid body, whose outside metal shell is made of tough, anodized aluminum, though, its inside parts are made of a mix of composite and metal. As should be obvious, this focal point can undoubtedly withstand day-by-day -day use. In the event that we approach this, the Batiste 25mm f2 utilizes 10 components in 8 gatherings, and on its gap ring, there is even an OLED show that will keep you informed with respect to the rough center separation, though, on the front, you can without much of a stretch notification a 67mm channel string, along these lines, for the plan part I'm extremely fulfilled. Discussing the performance, the Batiste 25mm f2 is exceptionally sharp in the middle and on the edges, in any case, it's all the way open performance at vastness may cause you some chromatic distortion, notwithstanding, this may not radically lessen the general picture quality. On the off chance that you feel that the picture needs adjustment, at that point you can apply some in-camera or post-camera remedy whether you've shot JPEGs or RAW format pictures, yet remember that the generally speaking, sharpness and difference are undoubtedly useful for a wide point prime focal point. Besides, the flare isn't apparent in the greater part of the circumstances, and the purpose for this is the counter-intelligent covering, in spite of the fact that you may locate some minor ghosting impacts however. In any case, where the producer hit a big stake is at the trans state performance. In particular, even at f2, the measure of unconsciousness is scarcely perceptible which implies that you will be more than fulfilled to shoot photography of the stars during the night. Regarding the bokeh performance, I need to inform you that the Batiste is extraordinary here gratitude to its nine adjusted opening sharp edges which will assist you with accomplishing superb bokeh results on the off chance that you utilize the focal point and camera right. Those who've gotten an opportunity to shoot with this camera guarantee that they were happy with this focal point, and I trust that you will be too on the off chance that you actually choose to buy it. At long last, the self-adjust is peaceful and fast, and what's far and away superior is that this unit covers the full edge of the A7 cameras, and truly, I was unable to expect anything less by a Zeiss. Number 4. Tamron SPAFA 012C700 the Tamron SPAFA 012C700 is regularly named as the world's first f2.8 picture balanced out, super wide point long range focal point that is explicitly intended to work related to full outline cameras. Despite the fact that it was delivered several years back, even today, this focal point is regularly the best option for a wide range of picture takers whose most loved style of photography is actually the astrophotography. From a plan viewpoint, the optical development of this focal point consolidates 18 components partitioned into 13 gatherings, in addition to a XGM component that is set at the front gathering, while, you can likewise discover a few LD glass components that will incredibly improve the nature of your shooting. At within, there's a ultra-silent drive engine whose intention is to make this focal point sufficiently quick to center onto a particular objective while keeping up commotion free, and what will without a doubt stand out enough to be noticed is the inherent picture adjustment which guarantees up to four stops of pay in the event that you want to have handheld shooting. Yet, hello, Tamron didn't stop here. They even executed an adding fluoride covering to the front component to cause it to withstand water and soil, alongside a climate fixing and a unique, alleged E-band covering whose object is to give more noteworthy power over the reflections and limit the events of ghosting and flare however much as could reasonably be expected. Besides, the performance isn't any extraordinary whatsoever. Specifically, its wide central scope of 15 to 30 mm, its quick 2.8 most extreme opening and the 9 cutting edge round gap are unquestionably an extraordinary expansion since the outcomes will be fulfilling for you and for each and every individual who will be seeing them. 
To be more exact, more often than not you won't see obscure, yet unadulterated shading exactness, in any case, in the event that you need to push this camera to its limits, at 100% view, you will see a touch of obscure, yet, pictures are usable and still, at the end of the day. For instance, even fully open at f2.8, the Tamron SPAFA 012C700 delivers sharp symbolism, and you can totally prevent down from f11 to f22 on the grounds that, at this level, pictures won't be vigorously influenced. Regardless, I'd suggest you stick between f5.6 to f8 since this is the sweet spot. Number 5. Nikon AFS Nikkor 14 to 24 mm f 2.8 G ed. The Nikon AFS Nikkor 14 to 24 mm f 2.8 G ed is notable available, and you've probably observed this name springing up various occasions on the internet as you were looking for the best focal point for astrophotography. Indeed, you shouldn't be amazed. However, in light of the fact that this focal point is exceptionally appropriate for astrophotography, scene or compositional photo, and paying little mind to the sort of photography you'll be shooting, this model will have you totally upheld up. Regarding the plan, the Nikon AF-S Nikkor 14 to 24 mm f 2.8 G ed is an aftereffect of phenomenal craftsmanship, and from the second you take it, you will be stunned by the taken care of and the manner in which Nikon has made this item. In particular, its external barrel is made with a metal compound, the center ring is rubber treated, and you can likewise see residue and dampness seals which will significantly improve the construct nature of the focal point itself, and cause this focal point to be a magnificent friend any place you go. Likewise, the interior parts incorporate two extra low scattering ed components three aspherical lenses, and a nanocrystal coat, which, when consolidated, will guarantee reliable performance while keeping up the sharpness and the general differentiation quality solid even at the vastest gap settings. Yet, that is not all. Nikon has fused an alleged silent wave motor which will promise you nothing not exactly a super rapid self-adjusting, and since I've referenced this, I believe that it is the correct chance to discuss the performance and the highlights. For your information, the Nikon AF-S Nikkor 14-24mm f 2.8 G ed is great in low-light conditions, since the included engine is unadulterated greatness on the grounds that immediately, the focal point centers around a particular objective and stays calm. Simultaneously, the self-adjust precision is overpowering, and you can even concentration as close as 10.8 at the 24mm setting. Therefore, I need to concede that Nikon has worked superbly here. Proceeding onward, the sharpness is extremely solid at 14 mm, and on the off chance that you stop down to f, 5.6, you can see that the middle and the mid outline performance is for sure acceptable. In any case, on the off chance that you zoom everywhere openings, the performance inlet drops a piece, however once you get to f, 5.6, the performance gets solid once more. Eventually, I'd likewise prefer to make reference to that the ghosting impacts and flare are scarcely recognizable, and the equivalent can be said with respect to the bending, notwithstanding, at 20 mm, the contortion is non-existent and I believe that you will be happy with the focal point when you see from this viewpoint too. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked the video. If you found the video helpful please remember to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can.